Hey, I'm Lucas Gretowski, founder of Nomads, and I'm going to make another video about variation listings, but it's going to be a little different. So it's still, with the talks that I've been doing and everything lately, variations always come up. And regardless of PPC, this question comes up a lot too. Should I have a variation listing? Look at this listing that I found. So I have two examples here for cheese knives. This is a cheese knife listing, bestseller, and theirs is a lot cleaner. They have a set of four, the same set of three, uh, three soft cheese, and they have all of them individuals on this listing. This is, this is very clean. This is a good listing. But a lot of people say, should I have something like this? So option 16, option 18, right? Option two. Yeah, guys, this is a great experience for people. Um, because what happens is you use your one variation to drive people to this page, your option A, and then they're like, oh, wow, you have all these other options? I didn't even think about this. I'm going to buy this one as a gift, or I'm going to buy this one that's more expensive. You should always do variations if you can. Then once you get to the point where a lot of them are very strong, then you can think about separating them. But I digress for variation listings. I want to also let you know that you can launch PPC with new variation listings um, and go after ASIN targeting if you do it right. So what I want to say is that um, in this instance, right, what you can do is add in a new variation. And if you're lucky enough to share your ratings, so you know that Amazon is splitting these up a lot of times where I'll click to this one, and this, this review will change, right? This ratings will change and I'll click to this one. And this will also show like zero reviews or something. But if you're lucky enough to still have your parent listing sharing your reviews, you want to take advantage of that. So what we do um, with, if you, can, if you can be aggressive enough with a launch, what you do is you launch a new ASIN. And then the whole reason that you're launching a lot of these ASINs is because your competitor you're better than your competitor, right? So you have a cheaper price point or something and you're piggybacking off of these ratings. So I can tell you guys that this is a bit of a, a different brand here from Cheese Knives. It's a premium brand and we just launched this. Okay, you can see that I have last 30 days up here and I'm recording this on the first and it only goes back to May 12th. That's when we launched this campaign and launched this product, all right? We are going after two ASINs. So this is Normally, I don't launch with ASIN targeting when you're launching a brand because you want to go after keywords for tacos, right? You want to gain, gain your ranking for, with exact match and maybe some broad and auto match, but you really want to focus on keyword targeting when you launch. So stick to that, right? But in the case where my client specifically launched this product to be better than a very specific competitor. And he was lucky enough to share reviews from an old parent listing. So technically he launched this new product, but right away had 500 reviews on it because it's a variation of an old version that he launched. And he tweaked it and he made it better and now it's better than his competitor. So guys, look at these. We just, all we did was bid on the two competitor ASIN. That's it. That was our launch along with keywords, right? So we're still going after our main keywords, but we said, you know what? We launched this because of this competitor. So if we get on their page, we know that we're going to convert better than they are because we took, we looked at the reviews and we said, okay, what are people complaining about, right? What, it, what are their one-star reviews? The quality, spoon and fork are cheaply made. Okay. Let's make a same cheese pack with higher quality spoon and forks. And then let's bid on this guy. All right. So these are also the brands that our agency likes to work with. The ones where we have the ability to improve on our products, to pivot, to see opportunities in the marketplace and actually improve on them because that's what makes our job a lot easier. So all I can say is that if you have a competitor in your market, and they're dominating and they're getting bad reviews, see what you can do to slightly take their product and improve on it and then advertise on their listing, dominate them out of the market. 